Theodore Whitmore, who has been given a one-year contract, will take over as head coach of Jamaica's Reggae Boys following the departure of former England international player John Barnes at the end of June. Barnes took over the reins of the national program on November 1, 2008, but will be leaving to take over the reins of English League One club Tranmere Rovers, the same team, of course, Ian Pepe Goodison. So far, Barnes is unbeaten in nine games, has led the senior team to five wins and four draws with the Reggae Boys, and is looking forward to the job with the Tranmere Rovers club. My first objective is to get a good preseason in to get a system in that the players understand, which is what I do at Jamaica, because too many people talk about getting promotion, too many people talk about success in years to come. You have to look at the first match, you have to look at the first preseason session, you have to look at the first time you try and empower the players, and then you take it from there. So I'm not looking any further than preseason. It's getting down, getting the players fit, getting them to understand what I want them to do, and then looking forward to the first preseason game and taking it from there. That is John Barnes. In the meantime, Theodore Whitmore will uh, definitely be no stranger to the team. Of course, having led them to three World Cup qualification victory last year, a former reggae boy, Whitmore, has been named twice as interim senior national football head coach, temporarily taking over the program after the sacking of the Serbian coach, Velibor Boromulicinovic, who was replaced by Simois. And then uh, Simois was subsequently dismissed. He also led the team to three crucial home wins in the closing round of the CONCACAF World Cup qualification semi-final last year, as we said before. Damien Stupi Stewart, the man who captained the team on Sunday in their 3-2 defeat against Panama, says Whitmore will bring his own style in the coaching setup. Well, mentally, I think it's a first. I think it's a first start for everyone. But as you know, Theodore has been the coach already, so he's got his own ideas. So we just have to work with his ideas that he come with. That is Damien Stupi Stewart. Meanwhile, Barnes, having led the boys to victory in the Digital Cup, is optimistic that the squad will do well in the Gold Cup games. I think they can have a fantastic Gold Cup. Tapper has worked with me. Tapper, because of course it's Tapper's team now, so maybe he's going to change things. Maybe he's going to change the system, the formation. I don't know. But I know that the players like Tapper. I know that Tapper is a very good coach. I know that no from the, the discussions we've had what he wants and how he wants his, the team to play and we're very much along the same line so I'm hoping that they will just continue not necessarily in terms of the way they play because that's completely up to the new coach but in terms of the attitude and commitment that is required of the Jamaican players that that continues because that will give them success.